Now that's love right there. The YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video these are some of my favorite videos to make man because we always talk about how people need to spread love more often uh, we always talk about how we just we wish that people would be more positive towards one another because simple words can make such a big difference and in this video Orlando Brown Jr. showed just that now this was not a find by me shout out to my guy uh sean aka scribbles that's my guy he's been supporting the channel for a long time now got to meet him a couple years ago met him met his sister uh they were both super cool and super nice so shout out to him he even sent uh caught a football little ravens football a couple years ago too so much love to you i appreciate you man love you and, and thank you for spreading this positivity because so many times on social media so much negativity continues to be spread but this Nah, this was none of that. So, of course, we know that Lamar Jackson is up for his contract very soon. He could literally get paid any day now. Any day now. He's eligible to be paid any second now. Any second our phones could go off. Lamar Jackson got his new contract. He got up to, and I ain't even going to get into the numbers. But anyway, a question that has been asked amongst many people. How much should you pay Lamar Jackson? Is he worth this? Is he worth that? You already know my answer. But let's go to Instagram. And my guy, Scribs, he said, I know a lot of people feel some type of way about Orlando Brown, but this is love right here. What's love? Because we can't really see too much from this picture. Well, let's go check out the details. Jordan Schultz. Jordan Schultz, who, if y'all are on Instagram and y'all are like on BR Gridiron, you on ESPN Instagram, you on NFL Instagram, his name is always in the comments section always but anyway he put up a post he said would you pay lamar jackson 45 million dollars per year uh and he said let me make this as simple as possible yes electric talent and leader who's vastly improved his mechanics as a thrower since entering the league so he let it be known he ain't beat around the bush he said straight up yes i would pay him 45 mil per year and he said, after reading that the Ravens may dish out 45 a mil to Lamar, I have to ask you the question, what would you do? So we know how Jordan Schultz feels about paying Lamar 45 mil per year, but let's look at some people in the comments section. First, we see Cam Jordan, defensive end from the New Orleans Saints. He said, MVP, LJ Air, cut the check. And... I couldn't agree more. And then we go down to Ryan Hollins, former NBA basketball player, current JW. Shout out to him. He said, easy. So I'm with that too. And then over time, Mikey said a simple, yes. Can't argue with that. But then the comment that stood out to us the most, the one that really hit our hearts, was from Orlando Brown Jr. himself, the former Baltimore Raven. And he said, 50 a year. So all these people, they talking yes to 45, but Orlando Brown Jr. said, whoa, 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 50, add five mil to that. And then he followed that up with, y'all ain't seen his best ball yet. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, that's real right there. That's real on so many different levels. One, because it's true. We have not seen Lamar Jackson's best ball yet. We haven't. And it's just, it's crazy and it's scary because while we've seen Lamar Jackson do some fantastic things, we've seen this guy do some amazing things with his arm, with his legs, the improvisation, just everything, reading defenses and just breaking stuff. It, we just seen so much already. But to think that this guy hasn't even hit his peak yet. <laughs> Ooh. That's a scary thought, man. Seriously, it's a scary thought. But more importantly, I love how Orlando Brown Jr. didn't let business get in the way of friendship, 
He didn't let business get in the way of his boy. And he didn't let business get in the way of love, man. That's love right there. Because we, we have seen so many players let the business get in the way. And, and stuff happens. We know stuff happens. It happens in our own personal lives. It's happened before. It happens on people that we watch in sports and whatnot. It happens. It can, it can just be ugly. The business can get so ugly. But it's a beautiful thing to see times like this when it doesn't. Times like this, even though Orlando Brown Jr., he plays for the enemy. He said, nah, I don't care about all that. Pay my guy 50 mil per. You ain't seen his best ball yet. And of course, we know that even though players play for different teams, they play for rival teams and whatnot, it does not mean that the players end up being rivals themselves. Because they're all under the same umbrella, they just getting it a different way. So ain't nothing wrong with that. So I, I just really appreciated this though. Because like my guy Sean mentioned in his tweet where he brought this out, a lot of people got a lot of stuff to say about Orlando Brown. And it's crazy because and, and that's part of just fandom and people being fanatics and fans of their team it happens people will change their tune on a player quick quick that player plays for their team oh man this is one of the best right tackles in football oh man it's an up and coming young right tackle in football oh he could play both sides he could play left tackle he could play right tackle he can do it all shout out to orlando brown jr that's that guy that's that guy. Oh, he gonna make a lot of money too. Man, we got one of the best. Ronnie Stanley on one side, Orlando Brown Jr. on the other. You can even flip-flop him. They say this, that, and the other. But then when that player is traded to another team, especially an enemy team, oh, he's not even that good anyway. He wasn't even that good. He, man, he was terrible as a right tackle. He was bad on the left side too. Oh, man, he was overrated. People's tunes, they change quick. Quick. So shout out to Orlando Brown Jr. Shout out to him for maintaining that positivity. Shout out to him for maintaining just that straight up love, man. Because that's what it's about. That's what matters the most. And I'm with it. And appreciate you, Sean. Thank you for bringing this out uh, to all the Ravens flock. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, special shout out to our guy, Sean, a.k.a. Scribbles. Love you. Appreciate you. We out. Shout out to Graven. Now that's love right there. That's love right there? Yep. Want to hear it? Okay. Want to hear it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to hear it. Okay. Let me turn it next to Oh, no, no, no. Don't press anything.